Alright, a little video of some of my stuff that came in. I'm trying to collect a little more vintage silver and picked up this. The Drover's Country. 90th anniversary, 1883 to 1973. Pretty cool bar, little cowboy in the city. Looks like oil well. The cattle. Do you with the cow in there? 90th anniversary. Rovers National Bank of Chicago. Remember FDIC serialized. Pretty cool kind of low serial. 007360. Swiss 39's fine silver. Maine, Switzerland. So that was pretty cool. Supposedly all combi Swiss made them or Something that's pretty nice. Bar 1973, that's pretty cool. And I also picked up this one, which is supposedly, can't find much information on them, but advertises the rare version, Drovers County. Cowboy office horse, dogs, and cattle. Serialized on the front. Oops, I just went out of focus. Zero zero two nine zero eight. Pretty cool, I like the scenery, the little subject matter. And then it's vintage and then the Drovers National Bank of Chicago again since eighteen eighty three. One ounce fine silver oh C H I in a circle made in Switzerland. Not sure how many were minted. But supposedly the 74 version is more rare. I don't know if there's any more years than these two out there. If anyone knows, let me know. And I also picked up this, which I'm quite pleased with. I like 10 ounce poured NCM Nevada Coin Mart bar. Three nines plus fine. Troy ounces. It's got a nice feel. One of my first poured vintage bars. And I like it. It's pretty sweet. Not sure on these. I've seen some stuff saying that they were made in the 60s, others saying 70s, but I would like to think the 60s. This would definitely be one of my oldest vintage bars. Man, I like this thing, it's got a nice feel. Being from Nevada, I had to get it with a little outline in the state of Nevada there. That's pretty cool. Hopefully I'll be able to add more vintage poor bars to my collection. I really like that one. There's pretty high premium on them, but I figure I might as well collect them. I think silver's going to go up, and hopefully they seem to be holding their value. So I feel pretty safe in collecting some more vintage. So if you would, leave a like comment let me know if any of you are collecting vintage silver and take it easy and i'll catch you on the next one later